All right, so our next interesting looking object is your sphenoid, part of your cranial bone. Uh, over here, we got the greater wings, which is where my thumb is at. The top portion is your lesser wing, right? Um, your cella turgica is where my index finger will go. It's sitting nicely. Think of it like a little saddle, right? Um, obturator form, I mean, optic foramen is actually in these two holes right here underneath your lesser wings. Uh, your opta, your superior orbital fissure is actually this part right here. You see this line. But what is really nice is if you look into the skull right here, you'll see your a boomerang shape in your eyes, right? So let's move this up right here. Uh, you see this boomerang right here? So your top portion of that boomerang is your superior orbital fissure, and the lower portion is your inferior orbital fissure. All right. Next up, if I open the skull for you, we're actually going to look inside here, and what we're, we'll be looking at is your ROS. So what is ROS? ROS is your foramen rotundum, ovale, and spinosum. All right, so let's go over that again. You got your ROS, R O S, rotundum, ovale, and spinosum. Your uh, pterygoid process will be, let's look here, these two portion right here on the bottom right here, this is your pterygoid process. And lastly, we'll be looking at your sphenoid sinus, which is right here, This, that's your sphenoid sinus. All right.